second part of Arkansas and American history will soon get the designation it deserves thanks to a bill authored by Senator John Bozeman. Five News reporter Katherine Gilker tells us the importance of the Butterfield Overland Trail. A bill that would designate the Butterfield Overland Trail as a National Historic Trail is headed to President Biden's desk after passing both the House and Senate. Getting this designation is thanks to Senator John Bozeman, who authored the legislation and has worked for years to make this happen. He says this is a long overdue recognition for the Butterfield Trail. In a statement, he goes on to say, designating it as a National Historic Trail will preserve the story of westward expansion and Arkansas' significant role in the growth and development of our country. This is the result of the vision of Arkansans, passionate and determined to achieve this designation. I'm proud to champion this initiative and get it across the finish line. The Butterfield Overland Trail is more than 3,000 miles of trail routes in eight states. It starts in California, making its way to Arkansas with stagecoach stops in several cities in our area, including Fort Smith and Springdale. This route was operated by the Butterfield Overland Mail Company from 1858 to 1861. Angie Albright is a director of the Shallow Museum of Ozark History. She says this is how people were getting places and spreading news. It's the longest trail of its kind in the world that we know of. So even though it was a, just for a short time and it ended as the Civil War was starting, um, we know that it marks a really significant period of transportation history in Arkansas. A significant stop along the trail is what's known as Fitzgerald Station on Old Wire Road in Springdale. The barn was used by Butterfield Overland Mail Company and was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2003. They would have had a tavern there and probably some nearby inns and over places for people to stay overnight as well. And later it would become part of the um, Old Wire Road and part of the Civil War transportation route and it's also where two different parts of the um, uh, Cherokee tribe stayed along their route to Oklahoma. In Springdale, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News.